Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. Today, I'm casting on a pair of Sundog socks, and yes, I'm going to cast on both socks at the same time. Socks can be knit in a variety of ways on different styles of knitting needles. Most of the time, people knit one sock, and then they knit the second sock. But it is possible to work both socks at the exact same time. There are a couple of reasons to try knitting two at a time socks, besides the fact that it's just kind of cool. First, you finish both socks at the same time, avoiding the dreaded second sock syndrome. Also, your socks will always be exactly the same length. The disadvantage to knitting two at a time socks is if you make a mistake on one sock, you likely made the same mistake on the second sock and you have twice as many stitches to unravel. So pay attention to your pattern. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to cast on the stitches for two at a time socks that are knit from the top down. Let's get started. When you knit adult size socks two at a time, generally you'll either be using one circular needle that's at least 36 inches long Mine happens to be a little bit shorter because it's easier to manage on camera. Or two circular needles that are each at least 20 inches long. You're also going to need two balls of yarn, one for each sock. As we cast on our stitches, we're going to want to divide them so that the stitches at the front of the leg for both socks are on one needle and the stitches at the back of the leg for both socks are on the second needle. Or if you're casting on to a single circular needle and using the magic loop method to knit, the stitches at the front of the leg for both socks are on one side of the magic loop and the stitches at the back of the leg for both socks are on the other side of the magic loop. Now, let's cast on. There are many different cast ons that work well for top down socks. Some of my favorites are the long tail cast on, cable cast on, and the old Norwegian or German twisted cast on. And I have many other videos that demonstrate these and other cast on methods. Today, even though I'm going to be using the old Norwegian cast on, instead of teaching the mechanics of a single cast on method, I'm going to focus on how the stitches for each sock should be placed on your knitting needles. So with my first knitting needle and my first ball of yarn, I'm going to cast on half of the stitches for my first sock. Now I'm going to shift the stitches from the first sock down my needle just so that they're out of the way. And then I'm going to attach my second ball of yarn for my second sock and cast on half the stitches for the second sock. If I were casting on to a single circular needle and knitting with the magic loop method, this is the point where I would pull the needle through and then all of the stitches for the first sock and the second sock would rest on the cord as I finished casting on. Instead, I'm going to be using a second needle. I'm continuing with my second ball of yarn and casting on the remaining stitches for the second sock. Before I finish casting on my stitches, Let's take a look at what we've done so far. 
with the first ball of yarn on the first needle, we cast on half the stitches for the first sock. With the second ball of yarn on the first needle, we cast on half the stitches for the second sock. Then we continued casting on stitches with the second ball of yarn on the second needle for the second sock. Finally, we're going to continue with this second needle and cast on the stitches that are remaining for the first sock. So I'm going to slide the stitches for the second sock down and out of the way so I don't have to worry about them as I'm casting on. And then I'm going to get set to cast on the stitches again for the second half of the first sock. Now all of my stitches for both socks are cast on. The stitches for the front of the leg of both socks are on one needle. The stitches for the back of the leg of both socks are on a second needle. If instead I had used one long circular needle to cast on my stitches and was using the magic loop method to knit my socks, instead of being needle tips right here, it would be like these two cords were connected, and that was your magic loop. So your stitches would still be arranged the same way. The stitches at the front of the leg for both socks would be on one side of your magic loop, and the stitches for the back of the leg of both socks would be on the other side of your magic loop. I hope you enjoyed learning how to cast on a pair of top-down, two-at-a-time socks. If you still need a little help getting started, make sure to watch my next video where I'll demonstrate how to manage your needles and your yarn when you knit two at a time socks on one needle or two. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and until we stitch again, happy knitting!